the key bridge strategy that unfolded this week. Today, it's a battle for the top spot in the Big Ten. Or this uh, game, I should say, as you look at the season's uh, series history. Justin Wheatfelt will face off to start his goal, and Wheatfelt wins it cleanly to himself. He's a scoring threat. Said he tries to bounce it to Mikey Bame. Defensive midfielder with the PLL draft coming up. I think he will be the first short stick defensive midfielder picked. He can stay on both sides of the field, and right away he scores. Defender matching up against teams offensive midfielders, but he also gives you this dimension Lockwood skips it to the far side big shot save made by Earl and now he covers up cross and its participants That's representing Big time in terms of coast to coast and the ability for this sport to grow Pesco gets inside and scores 200 pounds. He's got that long wingspan. As a midfielder, he's like the ball just kind of flew off of Lockwood's stick. Melendez tried defensively. I expect Hopkins to throw a huge dose of the pick game against Michigan. Chauvet gets a wide open look. Here, this is a nice little reprieve for them. And now we're getting into conference play where these teams will just focus on Big Ten play. You turn the page, we're almost at April. Things are heating up. Boom, long past the rock. Team assists. He's an attacker, a record breaker in the state of Michigan. Bame trying to get a pick. Can't get free three defenders all around him. Now gets it to Cohen. Cohen in front, Tiernan scores! That is 44's home right there. Ryan Cohen is the passer here. It doesn't look like there's much here in terms of all the stick flexibility with this unit. Bame's got a shorty, can he break free? Tough angle, but he gets a great pass to the other side, and Michigan scores again, did they? Yes, they fished a little while to give us confirmation as that ball rattled around, but across the goal line, Michigan White top. shirts, the blue helmets, the eyes are on him. He knows that, and the backside is wide open. Green Third line. for Erlen. Boom! Hunter Jaronski. And that gets the crowd in that sideline going. He gives that freshman the green light to strike in transition. Your short stick. Pretty, they can stretch the D with the left hand. That's Degnan right there. Melendez will take the shot and score. And he gets one. Russell Melendez. The shot placement on this one is perfection. Righty goalie. I like that he stepped in before he even got one behind in goals. Underneath. What a goal! No, they'll wave it off. Melendez has been operating from this spot. Shoot, save. It's through the pick. Both of them. Cohen makes the extra pass. Aaron's couldn't get a very good shot off, though. He's been awesome. Leads the team and calls turnovers. Also a Princeton transfer, grad transfer. Oh, Erlen makes the save. Melendez scoring the goal. Yeah, and he's going to have another opportunity, potentially. Sees up top on the far side. Inside, bouncer. Did defensive possession here for the maize in blue. Pedersen. Shot too high. That. Degnan, tough angle. Taylor might have gotten a piece of it as well, but it wasn't granted, but Hopkins gets it back anyways. Another turnover for Michigan. Well, the Blue Jays look for early offense. Degnan, this time he got into his left. Allowing Hopkins to stay in this game. Striking in transition. Scoring streak just continues and continues now. So much of a, of a physical taxing. You think about a guy like Petey LaSalle, oh. who all the draws for Virginia for because of COVID for like five years. Look out, Tiernan, no chance. You're going to stop that. And he shoots you know, see a lot. The reason why he's so successful, though, is because how quick the release is. Bo Lockwood, second. 
shoot without changing levels if you have a rapid fire release. Ball in your stick, it's out. That time Callahan won the face off, but Michigan gets it right back and puts it right in the back of the net. Good on the ground and can start transition. That play had a little bit of everything. Scoring record in Michigan history, Michael Bay. But it will also be top five in assists too by the time he leaves. What a remarkable career. Ronda has defender trip. Gives you an inch of a thought that he's not the ultimate guy. Tiernan hit the pipe, stays out. In six games has almost 50 points against Syracuse. <laughs> That's insane. As you were saying last night at dinner, this is a different Syracuse team defensively. That's a great move. He stays out of the crease. But if you start hot, the confidence starts to brew. He's been getting to the perspective. That opens up so many other options for this Johns Hopkins team. Angelus got free from Whitney just a little bit. Good pass inside. Ball over the back, over the shoulder from a low right. Trick for 31 and white. You saw him dodging. You saw him spraying it from the outside. Man, it's just a matter of him feeling it. Believe Angelus, right? Because you're gonna have to show a little bit more off of Melendez. And if you show off of a wing dodger like Melendez, You'll do that right now for light blue and white. By Pesco. And what Pesco does too is he keeps the stick, the head of his stick, kind of tight to his head. On the backside, the big dog, 40 and white. He's got the ball in his cross right there. There's Melendez, who has the one man up goal on the doorstep shot. That scores. Now he had him four in a row for Johns Hopkins. Pass. And instead of panicking, he keeps his feet. And he doesn't let his momentum take. Fires that pass inside. Nice catch by Isaac Aronson. Back up top to Lockwood. Bain. Nice catch. Tough angle. Shoots and scores, though. Cohen makes it work. Cohen, like Michael Bain, who've been around forever. I mentioned they have that left-sided triangle between the instincts of those three. Great things happen. You don't have to. But to go with it. It's a great double. You saw the shirts. Once they saw the back of Mulholland's helmet, they swarmed. Pastor's jinx. Sun went away immediately. Ronda on those two every single time out. So getting a guy like Melendez to play to his potential is huge. Shot score. Collison. Angeles on the assist. Hopkins back on top by six two. foot four. A lot like Justin Tiernan. The inside presence they give you, it's like swatting a fly when you're that big. Angeles through traffic. Dengna with the lefties. Wow. And this is just sweet heat by Garrett Degnan. What two are. Tough angle shot by Grime. It's been an assisting machine here of late for Hopkins. Degnan had to get it back into his right. He'll shoot with his right and high. Melendez, another good look. Taylor, what does Degnan do here? There's the left, decides not to shoot it. Ayers comes upfield, uses a pick nicely. Now the bounce shot. Taylor makes this against one of those shorties and Brett Martin, the best one of the bunch. Bain comes upfield, has no angles, question marks. Early. Plenty of time to shoot, 20 seconds for Michigan. Now a flag. This one's going to go against Hopkins. Oh, it's, oh, it's oh, here it's to running in from the box. Tough angle. Bain makes it work for him, though. Michigan needed that one. Because of those three players that work that triangle on the left side. You know, if you came to my hometown, I would have fed you with the best, oh my God. best food available in town. Right? Lamb ragu, some gabagool. Oh, the bouncer had a little old Hunter Taylor. 
This one threw me off, Cotter, completely. Uses the turf. We're going to hold the ball here. Let's start the fourth. Defense closes down on him. That's Clay, the freshman. Angeles coming up field. Gets a nice pick. Collison shoots. Taylor saw it all the way. 25 to shoot. Aronson takes a shot. Good look to Cohen. He shoots. Chase makes the stop initially. Advantage matching their largest of the day. Ayers fires at Taylor. In game with McDermott behind the cage. Gets it back to McDermott. He shoots and scores! From a hard rap check. Right there. Looks to see if he has the ball on his stick. Will increase his angle. Bain back to his right. Gets a pick. Tiernan scores. They got one back there. And he soaks the check. Hopkins is a little out of sorts. And that's the leading goal scorer in the nation. It's been thought about instead getting it to Melendez behind the cage. He comes upfield working on Clay the freshman. Bounces it. Just sneaky shot. Peshko to Bauer. Shoots and scores! Physically a little different. This guy's a water bug with vision. He sees. And the more you get from Melendez and Pesco, the more space you get for this guy, who's attacking a short stick in Collison. Oh, what a pass. Oh, and a great goal by... That's ridiculous. How does he make this pass? The slides there, the one-handed behind pass of the day. One of the better passes I've seen this. Impressive game and a more imp impressive second half for Hopkins. And we talked about how Michigan has been such a great team coming out of the locker room at halftime as Ronda scores right there. Michigan had to have it. Who's been the dominant team really in the second half. And Ronda's known as a sharpshooter. The grad transfer from Princeton. Bo Lockwood with another dish. And now you can see the desperation from Michigan defensively. Open goal, Angela scores. That game will be huge, so obviously we're going to keep a close eye on Maryland, Penn State. Play. And if Penn State... Back behind the cage, Lockwood. Fame. Bouncer scores, so Cohen gets one back here quickly. Now again, it falls on Weefeld's shoulders. But he sniped that one with his stick low, and he went high. This time, it has been a rough week for the city of Baltimore. But their team in their sport, the Johns Hopkins Blue Jays. Turnovers. You mentioned it. Guys like Smith, Kilray, Zulu had a great game.